Hello there. In this clip we're going to look at making the short sides for an upcycled box. So on these sides we've cut out these two pieces here to fit in with the long sides that we made previously. And these will form the finger joints on our upcycled box. So last clip we last time we looked at marking out the short sides and we divided it into three and we marked the waist on here and on the end here. So we've got the waist marked here with the small crosses which is the uh, portion that we need to remove. So we're going to put the material in the vise. I'm going to do the vise up, make sure it's secure, have it up off the desk so we're not cutting into the desk. We could use for this, we could use a tenon saw but today I'm going to use a coping saw as I think that's more manageable. We're also, I also have a small piece of abrasive paper which I'll use later. So the first thing I'm going to do now that it's in the vise, I'm going to take the coping saw, I'm going to put my thumbnail onto the line and I'm just going to carefully cut on the inside of the line. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'm just on the inside of the line. And I'm just cutting down. I'm using the whole length of the saw. And I'm just cutting down till I get to my mark line. And you can see there that I've cut just inside the line. And I'm going to, again, cut down just inside the line using the whole length of the saw until I get down there. So if we take a look at that, we can see that I've cut inside the line there and I've cut down to my marked line. Now what I'm going to do is make two diagonal cuts at 45 degrees across here. Now it might help here to place the wood, it's always better to cut downwards, so if we then... So you can see there, there is the first piece that I've cut out by making a 45 or slightly less than 45 degree angle cut there and I've removed that part. Then I'm going to put the piece of material in the vise this way and I'm going to make a cut so it's secure. And I've now made a cut across there, leaving a small amount, you see that, a small amount of waste left. We can try now. And remove the majority of that, but we've still got a small amount left. So to remove that last bit, we could use a file. Files are really more suited for use with metal and plastics but we could use it. But what we're going to do is take our second piece, our side, so this is the one that I haven't marked out yet, taking a small piece of quite coarse abrasive paper, I'm wrapping it round the edge like that and I'm just using that back and forth motion And because that is wrapped around here, we've got it's taken away material there and there. And if you can see that, we're pretty close there. We could just um, take a little bit more material, but the best thing to do then is to um, obviously we're going to cut this side next, but we can check and we can see that does just need a small amount more taken out of it. We'll look at fitting these together in our next clip. So that is cutting, removing material from the short pieces of the bo upcycled box 
to prepare for the finger joints. Thank you for watching.